EVS CHP to ecosystems. Define species. Ans group of organisms that resemble one another in appearance, behavior, chemistry, and genetic structure form a species. What is the population? Ans group of individual organisms of the same species living within an area is called population. For example, the Asiatic lions in the Gir National Park, Gujarat, make a population. Define community. Ans groups of various species occupying a particular area and interacting with each other make up a community. Or any assemblage of populations living in a prescribed area or physical habitat that has characteristics in addition to its individual and population components can be called a community. For instance, when we say the community of the Gin National Park, we refer to the lion population, the deer population and all forms of populations existing out there. Water cycle Ans the circulation of the chemical elements in the biosphere, from the environment to organisms and back to the environment, is called cycle. What do you mean by carrying capacity of habitat? Ans the maximum population of a particular species that a given habitat can support over a given period of time is known as the carrying capacity of the habitat. Define ecosystem Following our various definitions of ecosystems. An ecosystem is a community of organisms involved in a dynamic network of biological, chemical and physical interactions between themselves and with the non-living components. The community of organisms and populations that are interacting with one another and with the chemical and physical components of their environment is called ecosystem. The system resulting from the integration of all the living and non-living factors is called ecosystem. An ecosystem may be defined as a dynamic entity composed of a biological community and its associated abiotic environment. 7. Give the various definitions of ecosystem by various ecologists. A.G. Tansley, 1935 Ecosystem is defined as a self-sustained community of plants and animals existing in its own environment. Odom, 1971, any unit that includes all the organisms in a given area interacting with the physical environment, so that a flow of energy gives rise to a clearly defined tropic structure, ecosystems, biotic diversity, and material cycles within the system. Michael Alibi 1983, ecosystem is a community of interdependent organisms together with the environment. How did the word ecosystem derive? Ans the term ecosystem is made up of two words, eco and system. Eco means ecological sphere or a region of space where living things can exist, while system mean interacting organisms living in a particular habitat, living space. What is a system? Give the various types of system. Ans a system is any part of the universe separated from the rest by a well-defined boundary. Systems can be of three types. Isolated system, there is neither an exchange of energy nor matter with. The environment. Closed system, there is an exchange of energy but not matter. Open system, there is an exchange of both energy and matter. Define ecological system. Ans the ecological system or ecosystem is defined as a system where the biotic community, living organisms, and the non-biotic, non-living organisms, environment function together as one complete unit. State the structure and function of ecosystem. Ans an ecosystem has both structure and function. The structure tells about the diversity of species, as function involves the flow of energy and cycling of materials through the structural components. Define biosphere. Ans the sum total of all the ecosystems on planet Earth is called the biosphere, which includes all living organisms on Earth, interacting with the physical environment as a whole, to maintain a steady-state ecosystem. 
or the earth as a whole is a vast ecosystem and the portion of the earth in which the biotic components i the living matters are present is called biosphere or ecosphere 13 short note on the types of ecosystem an ecosystem is of two types one natural ecosystems two artificial ecosystems natural ecosystems ecosystems like ponds lakes oceans forests grasslands and deserts which are self regulating systems without much direct human interferences or manipulations are called natural ecosystems the natural ecosystem is thus of two types a terrestrial ecosystem land based ecosystem b aquatic ecosystem water based ecosystem artificial ecosystems the town city and agricultural ecosystems are man made ecosystems and are therefore called artificial ecosystems what factors have affected our ecosystem an increase in the human population deforestation fuel shortage decreased food production have adversely affected our ecosystem dot ec or systems have also been affected by climate change large scale shifts in the ranges of species timing of the seasons and animal migration deeply stressed coastal areas threat to certain important benefits provided by ecosystems frequency and aggressiveness of disasters like tsunami what is sustainable development Unsustainable development can be defined as meeting present needs without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. It is about leaving a cleaner earth for the future generations. Define land. Uns the delineable part of the earth not covered by water is known as land. What has stressed land resources? Uns deforestation. farming damming of rivers industrialization mining urbanization etc have seriously stressed land resources what is the need of the r ans the need of the r is to promote the role of ecosystem facilitators rather than exploiters charged with the responsibility of safeguarding the rights of unborn generations and of conserving land as the basis of the global ecosystem Name some air pollutants. Uns air pollutants such as nitrogen oxides, NOx, ammonia, NH3, and sulfur dioxide, so too, have major effect on the ecosystem services. What do you mean by human ecosystem interactions? Uns in a simple human ecosystem interaction, the ecosystem provides services to the human social system by the way of moving materials energy and information to meet people's needs the ecosystem resources both natural and artificial play a very vital role in the discharge of ecosystem services of provisioning regulating supporting and recreating what is common property resource cpr uns common property resources cpr include all such resources which are meant for common use of the villagers but not for individual possession they are particularly important to the landless the agricultural laborers and rural artisans usually common property resources are identified by three factors access common use and communal purpose dot these resources are community pastures and forests wastelands common dumping and threshing grounds watershed drainages village ponds rivers and other common pool water bodies what is the importance of cpr un cpr perform a major role as a life support system in developing countries like india cprs are an important component of the resource base of both the rural as well as urban communities they contribute to the production and consumption needs of the people in these communities as well as beyond when properly managed cprs ensure the sustainability of agroecological systems providing basic needs and sustenance for the poor what characteristics do a successful common property resource management require ans the need of the r is to resort to a more successful common property resources management that has social groups with rights to a clearly defined resource 
Ability to exclude others from using the resource. Set of use rules that limit the seasonality, extent, or ways in which the resource is extracted by individuals. Capacity to monitor use and enforce rules. Define coexistence. Ans coexistence is a common architectural feature of ecosystems where autotrophs and heterotrophs exist together in a mutually interdependent, compulsory relationship that ensures the flow of energy and the constant recycling of vital chemical nutrients through the ecosystem. What is ecosystem resilience? Ans the capability of an ecosystem to endure disturbances like storms, fire and pollution without changing its form is known as ecosystem resilience. If a resilient ecosystem is damaged, it has the ability to repair itself. In a resilient ecosystem, the procedure of repairing facilitates renewal and innovation. Without resilience, ecosystems become more prone to the effects of disturbances, which could have previously been absorbed. Define